Hi guys, it's Inam Gafour here with the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone. We're going to be taking a look at some of the new features introduced in the Android Jelly Bean 4.1.2 update that arrived in December 2012 for the Galaxy S3. First off, the multi-window support. I've been looking forward to this on the Galaxy S3 ever since I saw it on the Note 2. So just holding down the back button, displays a tab along the left hand side and you can drag and drop that application on the screen. And what YouTube will start playing in a second if I select a track being um, I'll say a track a video being we'll put uh, let's put the hodge trims on there so that'll start playing in a second just pull the tab open here and play say another video just drag and drop put the volume down a little bit and then scroll down to uh, video on this side that I can play skip that up there there you go, multi-window support on the Samsung Galaxy S3 smartphone with a video trailer on the left hand side and a YouTube video on the right hand side. How awesome is that? The notifications bar has been updated as well. It's more customizable now. You can add your own buttons and remove buttons that you don't need from there as well as moving the brightness up and down from the notifications area. So that's been improved to match more of the notes capabilities and what functions the Note 2 had. The gallery has also been updated, so if we get that launched and get that opened up, it's also had the Galaxy Note 2 treatment where it's been imported across from there. So if I just load up, uh, say, some photos, you get the main panel along the left-hand side like uh, a slider, and then you get the previews on the right-hand side. So as you can see, if I hit on my clips, I get the thumbnails on the right-hand side. This is exactly how it was on the Galaxy Note 2 and it's been imported across to the Galaxy S3 smartphone. Again, a welcomed improvement for navigation throughout the photos. Continuous input has also been added on to keyboard functions. So if I just load up a, a message here, just so that the keypad is enabled, just swiping across the screen, just allows you to type. Oops, didn't get it there. As you can see there, it works beautifully with predictive text as well, so you can't really screw it up. Another port over from the Galaxy Note 2 is Page Buddy. So if I plug in my headphones, for example, into the device, it automatically brings up the earphones Page Buddy, where I can change settings from here for Page Buddy. I can play music straight out the box, and it'll start playing through the headphones. I can play videos, as it does there. It gives you the list of applications just underneath the page buddy as well that require the use of the earphones automatically and as you remove the headphones everything goes back to the way it was. Applications have been ported across our groupcast where it allows you to share media with other devices so you've got pictures, documents, music videos, that kind of stuff and also paper artists. Now I think this is really cool because on the Galaxy Note 2 you had a pen to play with and to change photographs and whatnot but you don't have the pen in this one but you can use your finger and it works really really well so if I just load up say one of my um, profile pictures here and it loads it up there I can change I'll play around with my son's face and I can just do my teeth and eyes there you can play around take photographs with it as well it works pretty awesome to be fair so here it is and if I bring in say just a small keyboard on the desk and just put it in there you can apply different filters to it as you can see that's a nice new little feature to play around with I thought an addition for the readers among us is a reader mode so if we just go to a website for that matter where you can do a lot of reading so we'll go to the BBC News desktop site from Google, get that loaded up here. And you'll notice in the address bar along the top, it will give us a green reader icon as it does there. And once you tap it, it makes everything bigger and easier to read. I thought that was a nice little touch because it makes everything easier to read when you've got a lot of content on the screen. And you can simply go back to the main screen itself from there. Facebook lock tick has also been added so if you lock your screen normally when you go to unlock it you get news feeds along the bottom of your notifications area if you have them turned on you can now customize them so you get Facebook notifications as well as you can see the little Facebook logo and it took a little bit longer there but if you scroll up 
it then gives you Facebook updates as they come in there. I've got none pending, but you can resynchronize from there onwards. The camera hasn't been left out of this update either, so if we get that loaded up, we've had some welcome additions to the camera application in the sense of low light camera shots. So as you can see here, if I just get my light switched off, lights all switched off and you can see the picture's fairly dark at the moment this side because most of the lighting's now off. So if we go to settings and then select shooting mode and then go right down to the bottom where it says low light and then give it a second you can see how the brightness is turned up there even though we haven't got the lights turned on you have to give it a second for it to focus in but you can see how dark it is and then it illuminates itself considering this isn't a night shot camera and there's no night shot sensors in it at all that's really awesome i'm really happy with that another welcome addition that they've added on to this is the best face camera shot so again go to shooting mode scroll a little bit up where it says best face what this essentially does is when you've got multiple faces within a single camera shot what it does is take multiple photos of each person's face and you can pick which one to use and it kind of merges them all into one that's a wicked feature especially when you're taking pictures of kids when no one can stay still at the same time that's been a quick look at some of the functions and features of the android jelly bean 4.1.2 update for the samsung galaxy s3 smartphone if you need any help in setting up some of the individual features, do drop a comment down below. I'll see if I can update an individual video for those. Any other comments or questions, do drop them in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button down there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.